Hey there, it's Mike here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a video called $4,500 a month using Pinterest, 10 minutes a day, hurry up, make money online 2023 from a channel called Amply Cash. Now this video has almost 4,000 likes on it and 69,000 views. It looks pretty popular. So let's see if this is something that's real or if it's just another scammy thing that we see online over and over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a like here. If you guys can like my video as well, it really helps out with my YouTube channel and I appreciate it so, 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 so much. And hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Let's jump into it. Okay, you guys won't believe this. I just posted this video and it's already getting over 40 impressions. And get the... Uh, okay, I guess that's good. I mean, it's not like 40 impressions. If she just posted it, it's already gotten 40 impressions. Like, has it made any money? This Every time I refresh the page, it just keeps going up. I mean, I was just testing it out while recording this tutorial live and it actually works. Okay, that's cool. I, I like seeing real proof, like that's great. In this video, I'll show you how to repost videos and easily create photos, post them on Pinterest and get a lot of visitors. I'll also show you how to monetize these visitors and make a lot of money in five simple steps. Okay, if she's gonna show us real proof of her doing this, then I'm pumped for it, let's, let's see it. So let's dive into the world of make money online. So I came across this Pinterest account and you can see they are just reposting videos from Instagram and mostly TikTok, and they are getting 5.3 million views a month, which is a lot of traffic. That's a lot of traffic. Like people are going out there and, and taking, I don't know if you can just like take other people's videos and just re-upload them. Like the reason I'm able to do these kind of videos where I'm commenting on other people's videos is because of something called fair use, where I'm actually providing a commentary on it. But if you're just taking other people's videos as is and re-uploading them, I don't know if that's allowed, but maybe people are getting away with it. I don't know. But do you know how much money they are making? Well, it's zero dollars. Hmm. That's right, Pinterest doesn't pay you for viewership and they're not using any method to monetize their account. Then why are they doing it? I mean, look at that profile photo. One reason why they're not making any money with this account is that they don't have any offers to promote or products to sell. The second reason is not actually a reason, but rather a big mistake they are making. I will reveal this mistake later on as it will make more sense. I wonder why they don't have any affiliate links or anything anywhere, that's kind of weird. Step one, finding the offer to promote. The first thing you need to do is find an offer to promote. To do this, go to clickbank.com and create an account. Once you're logged in, click on the Affiliate Marketplace tab on the left-hand side of the screen. From here, choose a niche that you're interested in promoting. I recommend the health, wealth, or relationships niche as they have a lot of offers to choose from. And those are the ones that are, that, like, are the most profitable in general and the easiest ones to get into, health, wealth, and relationships. Just because people are the most, like they want to make money, they want, I mean, that's just everyone wants more money or everyone wants to be healthy. Everyone wants to find a, a significant other and have a good relationship, so it makes sense. For this tutorial, I'll choose the women's health niche as most Pinterest users are women. It's interesting. Most Pinterest users are women. Like that's how the statistics show it. But there are a lot of guys on there too. I use Pinterest sometimes. To see how the offer page looks like, click on the offer's name. You'll be redirected to the offer page. You'll also want to click on the affiliate page button to visit the affiliate page. Here you'll find all the instructions and things you need to know to promote this offer properly. Sometimes they'll give you tools and stuff to promote it. Like they want to help you to make money with it because they make money when you make money. Choose an offer to promote and click on the promote button. A pop-up window will appear and from here click on the create hop link button. This will provide you with your affiliate link. Make sure to save it in notepad or something similar. I wonder why she's hiding her nickname. Like I feel like if people really want to find someone's clickbank nickname they can i don't know what really you could do with it like you're not going to get some like if you send a ton of traffic to someone's clickbank link maybe they would get in trouble if it's crappy traffic i don't know you can choose to promote multiple offers but i recommend sticking to a maximum of three offers to promote that's it for the first few steps on how to make money okay. with pinterest stay tuned for the next steps where i'll show you how to create pins drive traffic let's do it and monetize your pinterest account step two setting up the Pinterest account. In this okay. step, we'll create a Pinterest account and set up the profile for promoting our offer. I hope that she shows us actually like getting traffic and stuff to it. Make If we make a sale with it, I will be pumped. Go to Pinterest.com and register an account using your email address. After logging in, you can either convert your personal account into a business account or click on add account and choose create a free business account and click create. 
After that, down at the bottom, choose Create a Linked Business Account. This way, you will be able to log in using the same email and password of your email address, and you can easily switch between your personal and business account. Then click Create. Build your profile by choosing an appropriate name that aligns with your offer. I mean, this is a basic tutorial on this, but for some people, they might need this. It's a good step by step. And no problem, you can always edit it later. It will ask if you have a website. Just click No for the moment. Then click Next. Choose the focus of your brand and choose your three goals. Choose what fits you here or choose I am not sure and click Next. After you're done, click the X. To add a profile picture, we will create a logo and we will use Canva. Canva is great. If you guys aren't using Canva yet, de definitely get it. I, I've been using the free version. I've never paid for Canva. Uh, I think they have some nice features in the paid one, but I just use the free one. It is an awesome website yeah. for creating a social media content. Try to get creative here or get inspired by the templates. And if you like, you can start from one of them and create a logo. If you are interested, I can totally show you how to use Canva. It's super easy and perfect for creating cute graphics and designs for your social media. You really don't even need to go through any tutorials either. It's pretty self-explanatory. Once you've created your logo, save it in your device. Go back to Pinterest, click the down arrow next to your profile icon, then click settings. Click change, then choose a photo and upload the logo you created and click save. Okay. To add a banner, go to pixabay.com. It is a royalty-free footage website. Search for an image that you like. It's amazing how many free assets there are out there. I mean, you could go there, you could go on Midjourney and have Midjourney create you something for free using AI. So, so many ways of doing this. Then download it to your device. All free. Back in Pinterest, click on your profile picture, then click the plus icon in the banner window. Browse to the image you downloaded, select it, crop it the way you want, and click done. To change the bio or profile description, click on Edit Profile mm. and either get inspiration from other pages and come up with your own or open a new Pinterest tab. And search for accounts in your niche to copy the bio you want. I wouldn't copy it, but I, you could use it as a way of writing your own. And paste it into Quillbot.com and click Paraphrase. Okay, Quillbot so she's rewriting it. Bot is a tool to help you rewrite or spin paragraphs. But keep the keywords as they are for better SEO. If you're not sure what to keep and not, then just try to edit the description by yourself and you are not allowed to put more than 500 characters in the description anyway, so it's not a lot of work. Once you're happy, click save and that's okay. it. You've successfully set up your Pinterest profile for promoting your offer. Step three, adding the affiliate links. Now that you've got your Pinterest profile set up, it's time to add your affiliate links. We're going to be using direct.me as our landing page. So I've never seen direct.me, so this is great. Like if you've watched these, if you've watched my other videos before, you know that I love learning these new tools. So it's always nice to learn something new. Uh, whether or not you're going to use the method in this video, it's up to you, but maybe you're going to learn some new tools. So let's get you signed up. Create an account on direct.me and use the same name you chose for your Pinterest account. Once you're logged in, choose the same username and profile image you used for Pinterest. Okay, yeah, you want to keep it congruent. Now click on Add New Item and select Link or URL. Copy and paste your affiliate link from your notepad or wherever you saved it and give it a catchy title. You probably want to do this because they don't want to just link directly from Pinterest to a, an affiliate link. That might not be allowed. So this is kind of like a bridge page. You can even add an icon to make it more eye-catching. Click Browse and select it in your device. Check out the preview of your landing page on the right side. And click the Copy button to open it in a new tab. So it's like what, like Linktree or something? There's some other, like a bunch of different tools like this. You can add all your other links the same way and even customize your links page to your liking. Change the background, copy your bio, do whatever you want to make it pop. Once you've got everything set up, that looks nice. I like that. And the idea there is that you can get people to click on multiple different links and maybe they'll find something that they want. Head back to Pinterest and add the link in the website section. Click save and boom, you're done. Nice. Okay, good Whenever idea. someone clicks on your link, they'll be directed to your direct.me page. If they click on your offer link and end up making a purchase, you get a commission. Easy peasy. You've officially set up your Pinterest cool. account and added your affiliate links using direct.me. Step four, content creation and reposting. All right, so this is going to be the interesting part where I'm, I'm wondering what she's going to do here. Now it's time to get your content game on for Pinterest. 
Both images and videos work well on the platform, so we're going to create both. To make some cool images, go to Canva and search for pin templates. You can either create a picture from scratch or use one of their templates, or you can find a picture on Pixabay to start with. Now when it comes to videos, a lot of people just upload videos from TikTok. But here's the thing, Pinterest doesn't like those TikTok watermarks, so we need to find a way around that. Mm. To get a TikTok video without the watermark, first search for your topic on TikTok. When you find a video you like, copy its link and also copy the username of the original video maker so you can credit them properly. And let me See, there we go. Uh, that you want to make sure that you credit people and link to them so that they don't feel like you're just stealing their content. Let me tell you, it's super important to credit the original creator. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is the second big mistake that the Pinterest page I mentioned earlier is doing. And if you do like that, then you're just asking for trouble. Mm -hmm. Especially if you want to monetize your content and make some dough, you got to give credit where credit is due. So Even then, I mean, they might get mad at you. So uh, they might ask you to take it down. And if they do, take it down. So make sure you post your original content as well, or at least start with the TikTok videos and gradually produce more original content as you gain traction. To download the TikTok video without the watermark, you can use a website like ssstick.io. Just paste the link and click download, then click without watermark. You can repeat the process as much as you want. That's a useful website. If you've been trying to download TikTok videos, maybe you could use that. Step five, uploading the content to Pinterest. All right, now that we've got everything set up, the profile, the offers, and the content, it's time to start bringing in the traffic. And how do we do that? By posting an amazing content, of course. So let's head over to Pinterest and click on Create Idea Pin. Make sure you choose Idea Pin and not just a regular pin. This is good advice. I didn't know this. Because Idea Pins are a lot more dynamic than a regular as you can mix up still graphics with videos and animations and can really help you tell a story with videos, animations, and still graphics. Also, I've noticed that Pinterest idea pins are getting way more traction than regular pins. There we go, I mean, that's great advice. And it sounds like she's actually doing stuff with Pinterest. Now click here and navigate to where you saved your video. Add a catchy call to action on top of the video, like click the link in bio to learn more. It's very important to have a call to action because if you don't tell people what to do, they will do nothing. Then include a title with relevant keywords and add some related tags to help your pin get discovered. That's so impressive. It looks like Pinterest totally recognized her hair and skin. And also... That's kind of interesting it, that they actually saw that and they're able to, uh, to, to understand that and give you the right kind of tags. Add a good description and credit the original creator. Once you finish, click Publish. Now, all you need to do is keep adding new content and growing your page by posting one to three times a day. It takes less than 15 minutes a day, so it's super easy to do. Before you know it, you'll start seeing traffic coming to your page, clicks on your offers, and hopefully some sweet commissions rolling in. I like how at the beginning of the video, she showed that she posted this and she was already getting views to it. So that was pretty cool. Now, it would have been nice if we, we saw some affiliate commissions. A few moments later. Here we go. Okay. You guys won't believe this. Yeah, I just good. posted this video and it's already getting over 40 impressions. That's pretty cool. And get this, every time I refresh the page, it just keeps going up. I mean, I was just testing it out while recording this tutorial live and it actually works. But okay, so she's got 78 impressions. Looks like no clicks so far, uh, but she's at least getting some free impressions. Okay, so what do you guys think of this? As far as the headline went for this, it says $4,500 a month using Pinterest in 10 minutes a day. Pretty hypey here. I don't really see any connection to the whole $4,500 a month thing. Maybe that's what she's making in general. And she's kind of showing us some tactics and how to set that up. But I didn't really see any proof of that. I did like the proof of the image being shared and the impressions coming in. So that was nice of it. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Make sure you like this video. It really helps out on the YouTube channel and I appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button and bell notification. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video.